things that like stick up on your dashboard. But I don't want something stuck on my dashboard. So I'm just gonna hold it up with my arm. It's you can fine. buy the ones that stick to your rear. You're holding that with like two fingers. Anyway, we're on I-75 North. We're headed, uh, we just left Valdosta. Just went through Valdosta, Georgia. We're headed toward Atlanta, back to Nashville. After a weekend road trip. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon and I do this pretty darn often. You'll find that we uh, don't plan. We don't plan at all what we're gonna do, and then we go do it. And we go do what we don't plan we to do. Go, exactly. Makes total sense. Anyway, but this all started Friday. This is Monday. This is Martin Luther King Day. Uh, Brandon was off work, so we decided to make a long weekend of it. And this all started Friday afternoon. So what, we're technically about 72 hours into it right now? Something like that. But we pack a lot in. We're very efficient travelers, right? We just wanted I, sunshine. We just wanted sunshine and warm, which we're getting right now. You can see the glare coming in. It's beautiful, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. Because in Nashville, so. it's like 42 it, and cloudy and Yeah, in Nashville it's big, and and very, very cold. Sun. Anyway, we're gonna try to recap our um, weekend. What it looked like well, what all we did because like i said we cram a lot of things into our travel time but what's our favorite part of the whole trip probably saint augustine no 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 not our favorite place what is our favorite thing when we take these road trips oh you mean in general yeah just driving in the car <laughs> exactly so we drive a lot when we do these road trips and then we just stop a little while on the way we don't stay long we, we get out, we go, cool, we saw it, it's awesome, we move on. Because we like to be in the car. We like to listen to music and drive and talk and just road trip. That's, that's the whole thing. So Friday, we drove from Nashville all the way to... Murfreesboro. That was the first stop. We did stop in Murfreesboro because Plus. I had to go to Panera. It's true. I hadn't had lunch yet. And I wanted Panera before we left. Uh, so yeah, we did stop in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, at the Panera there. And it was snowing. And it and was 50 snowing. Degrees. Yeah, it was like 54 degrees. We're sitting at a stoplight, and this bolster of snow just comes flying across. And it was 50 degrees outside. It was very strange. Well, just like a sprinkle of snow. No, it, was it, like it looked like a blizzard for what? Yeah. Maybe two minutes, and then it was just gone. It's really weird. So then we were like, good, I'm glad we're leaving town. I'm glad we're going to Florida. Here's your sign. Here's your sign. Yeah, so we did that. So then we left Murfreesboro and Panera. And we got all the way to St. Augustine, right? We stayed we on the beach. We stayed the night beach. on the beach on, in like St. Augustine Beach. Yeah. The first night, just because it was like midnight. It no, was, it was after midnight. It was late. It? Yeah, it was like one of the morning. It was because we couldn't book a hotel online because it right. was after midnight. It was after tip. Yeah. Tip for traveling. Travel tip. That learning, Maybe. learning experience here. Um, yeah. Don't try yeah. to. We are the kind of people that we wait and book our hotel rooms. Like we drive till we want to stop and then we book them. You can't do that after midnight and book them online because it and automatically rolls over to the next day. time because you may think it's eleven o'clock in your car. And it's it's not it's you cross the time zone. These are good things to know. Yeah. Uh, so, but then where do we go from there? Then we took off. We we were trying to decide if we wanted to go to, all the way to Miami. That's what we were trying to decide. So we thought, well, let's just go as far south as we can because the farther south we went, the higher the temperature got. So we were like, we just want to get where it's warm and sunny. We didn't really care. So we ended up at we went to Fort Lauderdale. Um, we kept going south. We kept going south. It hit 72 degrees. Yes, it got 72 and the sun was out. And, and the we, traffic started getting crazy. Yes, yes, because we were getting ready to get into Miami. And yeah. we were like, you know what? It's we don't really need to go to Miami. Yeah, let's not. Let's just go to Hollywood, Florida. And we went in to get some lunch. We ate at a great little Greek restaurant. That happened, remember that? Yep. Okay, we, went, we had some Greek for lunch. And then we went to Hollywood uh, Beach. And the whole Hollywood uh, boardwalk area and saw all of that stuff. Walked up and down the boardwalk, walked up and down the beach, uh, took in the sunshine, took in the fun and all the things. Is that where the big rocks were? Big rocks. No. No. Yes. Yes? Police reported ahead. No. That was yesterday. Really did a I lot. guess I don't remember. 
that first day at all. We're gonna okay. look back to the pictures and we'll remember more. We came back up, so we made it as far south as we as we wanted to go just before getting you get to Miami, right? And then we took what was it one US one all the way up the the, all the till coast. we got to, to yeah the the East Coast the Atlantic coast which we'd never done that before so we drove all the way up to Titusville spent the night in Titusville got up yesterday morning and went to Cape Canaveral and we paid ten dollars to park and we walked up and saw some of the space shuttle stuff that they had that was outside. We just weren't real keen on paying the $57 per person, uh, like, whatever, museum tour fee $57. Thing. Seemed like a lot. I'm sorry. And yeah. if I was, like, more of a space-minded person, I might have done that, but we didn't. So, we went past it's not that. that we're cheap. It's, it's just not that, that we're cheap, but we're, we're cheap. cheap. Um, so, we went to just basically the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> and saw everything from a distance. Took we got some a few great pictures. Photos, photographs from the parking lot, though. Yes, that we was... did. We were there was a lot of laughter in the parking lot. It was really fun. We took some pictures. It was great. So we left there and headed north on on US one. Um, but we got off and we got on this little uh, national. It, it was called the Canaveral National Seashore. Yes. Which it is a kind of a I guess a national forest but it's it's protected beach it's protected it's beautiful walked down some trails through there got to see the actual florida land as it is naturally which was beautiful felt like you were in the jungle um it was awesome there were beaches there we went down and saw some of those beaches there were no people i mean it was beautiful we saw some dolphins swimming from a distance far far away i tried to get video you can kind of see them but uh, we did see dolphins. So we did that. We um, came back up, went to, we went on up to Flagler Beach, had a phenomenal steak at the beachfront grill in Flagler Beach. Holy moly. That was not It was amazing. And they had this, is it Caprice salad? Is that how you say it? Caprice? Caprese, the Caprese salad. I don't know. This is stuff with the mozzarella. But it was good. It was mozzarella. It was uh, tomato, balsamic vinegar, basil, that whole shtick. It was great. Anyway, and then, um, yeah, we kept driving. We got up to St. Augustine last night. Walked through St. Augustine at night, which would definitely recommend that probably any time of year. It was beautiful. That was and we went to the amazing. Castillo de San Marcos. National Monument. I got that right. Didn't I? Yes. Thank you. I've been practicing. Um, anyway, and it was built in 1672. It's the oldest building in the United States. The oldest, like whatever. Mason. Mason. Stone. Stone thing. Yeah. Uh, definitely recommend seeing that at night. Go at night. It's super creepy. It's super dark. There were maybe Much what five other people there. Yeah. So there were parts of it where you're just alone in the dark around this old creepy castle. They have like this moat and this, um, what was the, like a drawbridge That's and a, all this a, stuff. It used to be a moat. Now it's dry. Yeah, it's not a moat. It's a we dry moat. We were swimming around we it. It was just, we, you know, walk around the moat. Whatever. Anyway, we Well, I'm just explaining because it. It, right. it was really neat. It you was did. Very... It was really cool though. Um, as we were going through St. Augustine last night and this morning, there were all these like trolley tours. And maybe you're a person that loves trolley tours, and I hope that you are, and I hope that you ride all the trolleys in the if world. If you are, you're in luck, because there are They've trolley tours. They've got trolleys everywhere there. Everywhere. So you can get a tour. You can get a ghost tour. You can get a guided tour. You can get all the things in St. Augustine. We just walked on foot and figured it out for ourselves. Um, but we, we walked around last night. It was beautiful at night. Uh, got up this morning. Saw There's the, a whole village yeah. of buildings that are from the 1700s, like the colonial late, village, I think is what it was pre, called. Some of it's pre colonial, some yeah. of it even is when I guess, see, I don't know my Spanish history, but apparently, or yeah. Florida history, but apparently, Florida was part of Spain up until 1821. I learned that. Now, see, I learned something. Education. We're educational education. on these trips. It's like a field trip. It's what it's all about. And then this morning, 
uh, we went back downtown and walked around and saw the Flagler College and just some of the old buildings. We kind of drove through town a little bit, walked through town a little bit and saw through all of that. And uh, then we headed back toward Nashville and we got about an hour, hour and a half down the road and realized that Brandon had left his wallet at the hotel. But anyway, it was a great trip. Really nice just to get away, get a little warmness, get a little sunshine. It's still very sunshiny here. Uh, I mean, it's what? 61. 60 Not degrees bad. here in, in Georgia. Georgia and sunny. So I'm still, I'm happy with that. And I think it's actually supposed to be like in the 50s in, in Nashville. So it's not too bad. Is it? Yeah. Anyway, that's all. That's our in the moment moment. This moment. Anyway, uh, yeah. We had a great weekend. Florida was fun. Uh, thanks for... I'm sorry. I hit the button. I will come up with some sort of apparatus. You don't, but you don't need one of those things. Phone at conversations. All. You don't need one of those it's things. It's fine. I just don't want it up here all the time. You don't, can you don't I, need that. Can it just be up when I need it, and then I can take it down? They're not like they I don't want it to be cup permanent. Thing that sticks in the mirror, you suction know. cups. That's what I, I need. Like, anyway, we'll work on it. Said? We're gonna get on Amazon. If you have.